One more, and then we're going to work through a propaganda. Once again, we're going to go to the end. All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, remember last time we looked at, right? Actually, it would be really cool if you pulled out your ears. <laughs> I cross your eyes. I didn't make that. Um, so, I hope you did that on video. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's just get through this problem real quick. Kelsey, Kelsey, you don't have color. I know. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if I want to find the inverse tan, we have an issue with inverse tan of two, right? Before, when it was inverse tan of one or negative one, I knew there was a it was on the coordinate. I could use the unit circle, right? Because I could take those two coordinate points and um, find the you know tangent had a value, correct? Did everybody understand what I what I meant by that? Yeah. I had radical two over two divided by radical two over two gave me one. But well, here, I don't have my points on the unit circle that are that can give me two. So therefore, when I don't have a point that's not on the unit circle, I have to use a triangle. Triangle, exactly. So tangent of two. Remember, tangent we represent <coughs> as two over one, right? And tangent represents my y over my x, or my uh, opposite over adjacent. All right, so I need to draw a triangle that's gonna give me a positive two. So there's two triangles we could write. We could do uh, my y, so we could do two over one, or we could also have, so we could do this would be two and one, or negative two, and negative one, right? Because a negative divided by negative gives you a positive, correct? Yeah. Now, remember when we talked about our tangent, remember tangent has to be between pi over two and negative pi over two. So what is really the only triangle we can use? This one, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> so let's just erase that. Now let's use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this. 2 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. So therefore I get 4 plus 1 equals c squared. 5 equals c squared. Take the root. Square root of 5 equals c. So square root of 5, there. Then, so my inverse tangent, that has now allowed me to create the angle. Now all it's asking us to do is to find the cosine. And cosine is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So now I need to make sure that I've rationalized my denominator. Everybody loves doing that, but I'm rationalizing. Teachers, pardon the interruption. At this time, will you please turn your TV to channel 6 for the Mustang News? Oh, boy. Okay, there you go.